I would love to share a meditation with you about healing your tender heart. If you've come to this meditation with a broken heart, just remember, a broken heart is also an open heart. Thank you for your willingness. Your willingness is all it takes for healing to begin. So let's begin. First, find a quiet place to sit or lie down, whichever is most comfortable for you. Close your eyes. Let's first center ourselves where we are, in the here and now. Let us come into this moment. How many moments in our life pass us by without us being truly present for them? Okay, let's dive into this moment. Take a breath, deeply inhaling, and then exhale all the stale air out. You've got some important work to do. So let's put aside all our busy thoughts. In fact, let's put all our busy thoughts outside of us on some form of movement. Instead of all those thoughts zipping around in our mind, let's have them moving outside of us. We don't need all those thoughts running through our mind. So I want you to picture something with movement, a river, a stream may be in front of you. Watch your thoughts appear and then move them outside your mind. We want to gently move from you being your thoughts to you seeing them. Your thoughts are not you. We're going to go from a state of doing to a state of being. If random thoughts come up, you now know where to put them. Let's take another breath. Let's find this moment, this new moment. Now, to get us into this moment, I sometimes feel my body to ground myself. If we are doing healing on our heart, we're going to go into our body. Bring all of your attention to your body. Start at your feet. Feel your feet touching the floor or bed. Maybe they're touching each other. Wiggle your toes. Bring all your attention to those loving feet that get you wherever you need to go every day. Feel them. Feel your ankles, your calves strong calves that keep you walking, your knees, lovely knees that keep you moving. Notice any stress. Don't do anything in this moment to fix anything. Just observe what your body is feeling. Feel your thighs. Feel them connected to your behind. Your behind's touching something. Feel it on the chair or the bed. It cushions you every time you sit. Feel the small of your back. Move into your abdomen. Exhale all the stale air out again. Take a breath in, feel your abdomen full of all that air being moving through it. Now feel the whole lower part of your body, sense it beneath you, supporting you. Now let's move our attention to our upper body. Feel your chest rise and deeply exhale. 
Feel it rise and lower with each breath. Now purposely take a deep breath. Hold it for a moment. Feel it in your chest. Now exhale. That's where we're going to be working today. Feel, if you can, your heart beating. If you can't, just know it's there, working away. Now continue to move up. Feel your shoulders. Are they tight, loose? Just observe. Now your neck. Is it stiff, relaxed? Feel it supporting your head. Now move your attention to your lower jaw, your mouth, feeling your lips as air passes by them. Feel your tongue in your mouth. Now your nose. Inhale through those nostrils taking all that air in and exhale it. Move up now to your eyes. Blink them. What does it feel like when they blink? Move your attention now up to your forehead. Then the top of your head, your hair, your crown. Feel where the top of your head ends and the space above you begins. Now bring your awareness to your whole body. Scan it for a moment to a whole full body scan. What do you notice? Just be the observer of your body. Now. Let's begin to do some healing. I want you to picture your heart. Once again, stay in that observer's mind. What might you see that doesn't serve you in your heart? Is there a hole there? Something or someone missing? Take a good look. Is it dehydrated? Worn out? Hurt? Maybe it's broken. Are you broken hearted? Most of us are on some level. Sometimes it's not because of what's there, but because of what's not there. Maybe someone who is gone now. Maybe they left. Maybe they died. Just picture inside your heart. Now, as you observe your heart, feel the wounds that are there from previous relationships and hurts. Notice any scars or bruising. Is there a depletion of love that exists? Are there cracks or mistrust or lies, betrayals, old scars from infidelity? Take a moment and just look. Now see a person in your mind, or it may be a pet that's died. Let's first clean out all of our heart's negative emotions. Are there negative emotions there? Anger that they left? Resentment? They betrayed you? Is there some pain there? From that person? From that pet? It's maybe left you in a world all alone. Just observe it all there in your heart. Now that you see all those things in your heart that don't serve you, I want you to see a beautiful golden bag. 
this lovely little bag that you can put right next to you. Now, all that anger you found in your heart, all that pain, all that resentment and mistrust, use your hands and scoop it gently out. Take any of those negative feelings and put them in this golden bag. Take a few moments. As you do this, you may feel some sadness. You may feel a lot of sadness. Take a moment and feel it. Any tears you cry, you're going to put in that golden bag. Now look in your heart for any pain that is there. A painful memory. A hurt that hasn't healed. Any pain you can find. Grab it. We're going to put that in the golden bag also now. What you're doing is so important. We're doing spiritual heart surgery here. Now let's take another scan of our heart and let's look for any other sadness that remains there from a person that hurt they caused you. Just remember it. You don't have to feel it again, but if you do, it's okay. Feel it. And then we're going to gently lift it up with compassion. Put any sadness that we see left around in the golden bag also. Still scanning your heart. Are any painful events coming up? Just see a time you were hurt. We're doing a deep, deep cleaning of our heart. Grab that event. Put it in the bag. Now let's go back even further. There's something in your childhood that was painful. We all have events that happen in our childhood. Bring a childhood event that was painful to your awareness. You might have many. They don't belong in your heart. It's been there too long. Take a few moments. Put those in the bag. Put those in that beautiful golden bag. Now let's look. Is there anything else negative that's still in your heart? Take one more look. Anything you find, whatever it is that's negative, put it in your golden bag. Now, let's say this together. I release all negativity in my heart to the universe and God for healing. I release all negativity in my heart to the universe and God for healing. This golden bag has gotten very big. Your heart is now empty of negativity, but we still have to clean it. We're going to do that with forgiveness. Your bag is full of hurts and pain caused by people, loss, maybe even death. Think of a person who left you in love. Forgive them. They aren't the one for your future. They belong in your past. You've made mistakes. They've made mistakes. Forgive them. We're not forgiving them for them. We're forgiving them for you. Forgive how much you may resent them. When we stay angry and in unforgiveness, it's like a poison that we drink, hoping the other person will get sick. That anger and resentment doesn't serve you. 
or give. Now bring to mind maybe a person who died. Maybe you're angry at them for leaving. They didn't want to go either. Forgive them. If you have sadness coming up, that's okay. Let those tears clean you along with the forgiveness. You may have had a pet that died. Forgive them for leaving. Forgive God. Forgive yourself for anything you think you did or didn't do. There is one person who was always with you when things went wrong. It was you. Forgive yourself for all the judgments you've had on yourself sabotages you did in the past, hurtful things you said, places where we weren't our best self. Let's forgive ourselves. Let's release ourselves. Let's sweep our heart clean with forgiveness. Repeat after me. I forgive those who hurt me. Even if you don't believe it, just say it, be willing. I forgive those who hurt me. One more time. I forgive those who hurt me. Now, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I lovingly forgive myself. Now exhale all those negative stale thoughts out of your mouth. Take a deep inhale. Inhale forgiveness through your nose. And exhale and release your breath with peace. Now take one more breath. Some people like to visualize clear, positive air coming in and cloudy, negative air going out. One more breath like that. Exhale it out. Notice your heart is beginning to look and feel fuller, more hydrated. My heart is full of love and life. Repeat that with me a couple of times. My heart is full of love and life. My heart is full of love and life. Now your golden bag. Pull the string. Seal it. With that golden bag in front of you, Let's see some sunlight shining on it. Let's give its contents and the bag over to the universe. For God, whatever you may see as your higher power, shine some of that healing light on that golden bag full of all that resentment and negativity and painful images and past experiences. Let that beautiful golden light wash over that bag. Send that bag love and compassion. That bag is proof you have lived life. You have loved. You have participated in life. Your heart has been wounded, but your spirit not broken. Those tears inside of that bag are evidence of your ability to love. See the sun and your love pouring down on that golden bag and melting it. It's getting smaller. All those old wounds are healing. 
or your future, that golden bag is always there for healing. Or you may want to create a box or just have an envelope. When negative thoughts or experiences happen, put them in that envelope, that box, or your golden bag. Give them a place to go, but don't put them in your heart. They don't belong there. Now let's bring our attention back to your heart, your full heart. Look how much room it has in it now. Let's think of a warm, positive memory you shared with a person or a pet you loved. Even a sweet moment in a relationship, even if that relationship didn't last. Take that memory and put it in your heart. Only the love that existed was real. Everything else was lessons we needed to grow and learn from. Put those moments of love in your heart now. Any lessons, anything else that came up that was painful, remember you have your golden bag there. But all these lessons, they don't belong in your heart. Think of another nice memory that comes up for you, a beautiful thought from the past. Put that in your heart. Think of a few more wonderful memories of people, places, pets, those we love, those who have loved us. Grab them, them in your heart. I want you now to picture your inner child, that innocent loving child in your past, just wanted love. That child is still within your soul. Give them a special place in your heart. That's where that child needs to live. Safely, lovingly protected in your heart. What a beautiful open heart you have. Now, take your strength. You've showed a lot of strength in your life when tough things happened to you. You had some rough times and you survived them. You had your strength. Put that strength in your heart now. Your beautiful open heart is also a strong heart. My heart is beautiful, open and strong. Repeat that with me. My heart is beautiful, open and strong. My heart is beautiful, open and strong. You now have a new awareness of what belongs in that sweet heart now. Bring people into your heart by invitation only. Honor those of the past by remembering them with love. Honor the love, not the pain. If thoughts of negativity come up, you can always put them in your golden bag for healing. Remember the past, but don't live there. Take another breath. Let that sweet, full, strong heart beat. Feel its fullness. I am love. Repeat that. I am love. I am love. Now, my heart is full of love. My heart is full of love. My heart is full of love. Think of your whole being. You are enough. You just forgot on your path like we all do. You are a wonderful being and you are enough. I am enough. Repeat that with me. I am enough. I am enough. 
we accept all our lessons with gratitude of this full life with its many ups and downs. We thank you for the loving, sweet, strong, full heart that is ours. I am grateful for this heart. I am strong in this heart. I have a loving heart. I am so grateful for this sweet heart. Bring your attention to your body again. How thankful we are for healing. For a heart that continues so strong. For another day on this planet. To heal, to grow, to love, to learn. Take another breath. That breath is life. Every breath you take is healing. Every breath I take is life healing me. Every breath I take is life healing me. Every breath I take is life healing me. Now bring your attention back to this moment back to this room, back to this place where you are. This is David Kessler, and I am so grateful for you. Thank you for spending this time with me. More importantly, thank you for spending this time with yourself and your heart. A broken heart is an open heart. And just know the truth, you can always heal your heart. My heart is now healed. My heart is now healed. My heart is now healed.